Have you ever wanted to play Minecraft with an Xbox One controller, but you just didn't have Minecraft for the Xbox One? Maybe you own the PC version of Minecraft, but you just wanted to play with the Xbox One controller. There is a way to do so. Follow me and keep watching this video, and I'll show you exactly how to do this. Die! For this process, you will need a micro USB 2 cable. Note that this is different from the mini USB 2 cable, which most cameras use. It has to be micro USB so that your Xbox One controller can connect to your computer. You are also going to need drivers for your Xbox One controller on your PC. I'll leave a link in the description below. You will also need a program called Joy2Key. What this does, it takes any joystick plugged into the computer and takes its inputs and changes it into keyboard or mouse inputs. I'll leave two links in the description to download. Once you have both the files downloaded, go ahead and launch the MSI file for the Xbox One. It will ask you if you want to run it. The publisher saying the publisher is not verified. Go ahead and run it. It will come up with the setup wizard. Now since I've already installed it on my computer, I am not going to run it through. What you want to do with the joy to key application is you want to put it into a separate folder and double click and run it. It will show you this screen for, uh, for the first time. Click OK and then I'm just going to move it here so it's better in the video. Once you open it, go to file and then exit. It will it will come up with these these files here. This is why you want to put it into a separate folder of itself so that you don't get these mixed up with other files. Now you see this file here, profile 1. Double click on it and you want to select everything and you want to replace it with text that I have that I've put it in, into the description below. Copy that and paste it here in, into this file and name the file mine and you want to name the file here, let me just do it real quick. I'm going to rename the file Minecraft. This is this is just for easier access. So once you oh, go ahead and open Joy2Key again and go into Minecraft, it's it's not here because it's saying dis disabled because I haven't changed anything into the CFG file. But let me go into my own file real quick. Here I have minecraft.cfg. I'm going to copy that and delete this one. I'm going to paste it here. And when I go to joy to when I open joy to key, let me restart the application real quick. It will show you all these settings. Now, these settings are the settings that are assigned to the my, to the Xbox controller that I've in put myself you, you'd probably want to change a few things around, but this is a good starter. What you want to do now is plug in your Xbox controller to your, mo to your computer. What you, so, insert this end into the Xbox controller, like so, and insert the other end into the computer. Now, this should be easy enough. I'm just going to do it right now. You just saw the Xbox controller vibrate like that. That's what should happen if the drivers are properly properly installed into your computer. Now your computer will read your Xbox controller. It may take a few tries. You may have to unplug it and plug it in again uh, for your computer to tr um, fully read it. But once you're done that, go back to your computer. Now once you go ahead and open Joy2Key, you'll see when you see the settings and press each each button on your controller you'll see that w something gets highlighted and w one thing happens so the way this is set up right now is the right the right joystick is controlling the WASD movements up is W left is A down is S and so on next 
I had the left this here, this joystick is controlling the mouse, which is looking. You can go into the you can right click on this. You can go edit button assignment. You see the cursor movement over here is minus 75. You can do minus 50 for for like for less for less sensitivity or you can increase it for more sensitivity so on and then sorry I just moved my camera there the right trigger is left click left trigger is right click um, what else F5 the is the button that you use to go toggle full screen I think or it's one of those buttons I have I had these set up for the for the cursors these buttons the clickable cursor buttons then I have A set to space for jump X for E which is uh, inventory Y is shift you can change that if you want it'll take some experimenting B is Q for dropping items and then these are the right and left bumpers or buttons if you want if you wish right button goes is mouse wheel up this is to change in the hotbar scrolling the mouse example button 7 I'm trying to think which one this is oh th this is the screenshot button you can I have it set it for the this button over here I'm not sure if you can see it but this button right over here this button is escape for like for um, pausing the game and if you press on the right analog button I have it set to the sprint button which is that's also the key I have it set for my minecraft and I have when you press r this button that's the one where it's the mouse middle click to select the to select the block you're pointing at and yeah that's pretty much it if you want to change around the controls you can you're happy I certainly allow you to do so and uh, just adjust it to whatever you wish you want it to be and that's it you have minecraft set up thanks for watching and please rate comment and subscribe share this with your friends and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye. Just before I leave, I just want to show to you guys that this actually works. So I have my controller here hooked up to the computer, and I'm moving my mouse around with my with my controller. So I'll go into my creative world. At least I think that was my creative world. And as you can see, I can move around. I'm moving around with my joystick here, and. I'll move I'll move in around with this part and I can stop pause the game there a for jump x to go into my inventory now the only problem is you're going to have to get used to using your left I mean your right analog stick as your mouse and using your R button to break blocks as the left that's a zombie I just spawned a zombie there that's my that's my right trigger and I'm moving my things with my button now let me I can also punch middle click I can got the block right click to place and that's it and thanks for watching I'll see you all in the next video